When working with companies that use Snapdocs technology, you can receive and download loan documents that they share with you directly through your Snapdocs account. To download the documents for a signing, just click on the order from your dashboard. I'm going to download the documents for the home signing that I have with the demo company. So I'm just gonna click on it here. If the company has shared any documents with you, they'll appear in the document section on the order page. For each PDF file they've shared with you, you can see how many pages are in the file, as well as a breakdown of how many pages are letter size and how many pages are legal sized. When downloading documents, you can choose to either download the document as one file, or you can choose to separate out the letter size pages and legal size pages. Separating the document by page size can be particularly useful if you have a single tray printer that can only handle one paper size at a time. If you just want to download the document as it is without the letter and legal size pages being separated out, just click on the icon of the down arrow to start the download. I'm going to click on it here and you can see that the PDF has downloaded. The other way to download the file without separating out by page size is to click on the upside down arrow and to select the download option. So you can see the PDF has downloaded it again. If you'd like to separate out the legal and letter size pages though, just click on the upside down triangle and select the download split by letter or legal option instead. The pages will be separated by letter and legal size and sorted, and then a zip file will download to your computer. For larger files, it may take a few more moments for the file to be separated and downloaded. Once the download is finished, locate it on your computer. For me, all downloads get automatically placed in the downloads folder on my computer. So here's the zip file that was just downloaded. Zip files must be unzipped in order for you to view the contents within it. Most computers can unzip zip files for you if you just double click on the file. So I'm gonna double click on this to unzip it. If the file has been successfully unzipped, it should appear as a new folder, as it does here. Just double click on the folder to view its contents. Inside the folder, there should be three files. One file should be a PDF of all legal size pages. Another file should be a PDF of all letter size pages. And lastly, to help you out, there should also be a text document that contains instructions on how to stack the pages so they're in their original order. So let's take a look at this text document. If you open the text document, you should see at the top some brief instructions on how to restack the pages so that they are in their original order. You should also see a table with three columns. The first column is your stack order and it'll be numbered starting from one down to uh, however far it goes in order for you to stack all of the pages in their correct order. And then there's a column for letter and a column for legal. And underneath each, you should see a bunch of numbers um, and they just correspond to how many pages of that uh, letter or legal size should be placed when you go and stack the pages in their original order. So in this case, to arrange the pages in their original order, I would start from stack order number one. And it says that there are five legal pages. So I would take the first five pages from the stack of legal size pages. And these would be pages one through five of the original document. Then working my way down, I would go to stack number two, which tells me to take five pages from the stack of letter size pages and place them after the five legal size pages. So these five letter size pages would be pages six through 10 of the original document. If there were more pages in this document, I would just continue working my way down the stack order list until I reach the bottom. If you ever lose track of where a page should be placed, you can always download the entire file without separating the page sizes and reference that or double check your work against it.